in 2010. If growth starts to fade, you're going to see Bernanke really step it up with more quantitative easing. Right. I mean, what does that mean for the dollar? What's going on with Euro, the euro today, with Greece all of a sudden in you know, all sorts of trouble? Not one European country is meeting their goal in terms of uh, their deficit. Okay. All these companies, all these com countries are just printing money hand over fist. And, you know, the beneficiary of that is gold. Gold right. uh, has a, you know, I hate to say, sound cliche-ish, but gold has a four, five, six thousand year history of being a store of value. Now, silver. T tell me about silver. Silver is What's a the very... Sil sil silver story. Give silver, me the silver story. Silver is an extremely interesting metal. I mean, it's also, in addition to being a precious metal, may even have a longer history than gold as a precious metal. And one, obviously, because of its price, it's more easily for the typical investor to accumulate and buy silver coins. It's also a remarkable, and I use that word advisedly, a remarkable industrial metal. Its properties are, you know, totally unique. It's the best electrical conductor in the world. Uh, better than copper. It's the best thermal conductor in the world. And because of these unique properties, it finds itself in, in, in a lot of things you wouldn't suspect. One of the things you look at is how much you're using relative to how much silver there is in the ground. Right now, that ratio is 10 to 1. That means you're that... You're using 10 times more silver. Every year, mm -hmm. we've been mining about one-tenth of the reserve Jesus. base of silver. Oh, my God. That's scary. That is frightening. That means that we have to increase this resource dramatically or, or else we're just going to run out of silver. And so you ask me for prices of silver, if I told you $100 based upon everything that I'm saying right now, I don't think in any way you could call me crazy. I mean, silver, I think, could, you know, barring a collapse in China, which I just don't see, barring another major worldwide catastrophe, I think silver could be an absolute huge, huge winner. There's very little of it, okay. and we need it for everything.